Continue to follow breaking news out of France this morning. An arson attack on trains there just hours before the Summer Olympic ceremony is set to begin. Marcella Robertson is following breaking developments from our newsroom and joins us now. And Marcella, what have you learned in the last 30 minutes? Yeah, we are now hearing from the French Prime Minister about all of this. We know that France's rail network again has been targeted by what officials are calling several coordinated malicious attacks, including arson, as you mentioned, causing severe disruptions on the rails. This all happening again hours before the Olympics opening ceremony in Paris. The French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal calling the impact to the rails quote massive and serious this morning. He posted a statement about an hour ago to X in that statement. Uh, he also says that intelligence services have been mobilized to try to find the perpetrators behind this. Uh, we know this is uh, targeting high speed trains. A live look right now. We want to show you at the Paris Nord train station. Of course, this comes uh, again just hours before the Paris Olympics opening ceremony. A French officials say that a large number of trains they have been either diverted or canceled in response to this. Uh, you can see just a lot of people outside the station right now. Uh, some essentially just stranded, not sure where or when their train is going to take off. Off to uh, so far, though, important to note, not seeing any reports of any injuries. Uh, we're also getting some video this morning of some of the train stations and the delay boards. Uh, this news, as you can imagine, making waves on social media. Some travelers uh, reported that they waited hours on some trains because of the disruptions. Uh, this has essentially paralyzed nearly a million travelers and railways. They're saying they uh, will essentially travel will be disrupted until at least the end of the week. I also want to mention the Associated Press reporting that officials are working to evaluate how this potentially impacts athletes and the sports prime minister says uh, they're working to ensure all delegations make it to the Olympic competition site. So guys still a lot developing here, uh, but uh, good report. Good news at this point to report that no injuries are reported so far. We'll continue to bring you the very latest developments as we get them to the newsroom. Back to you and that is the good news. Right. Uh, Marcella, thank you for staying on top of this.